Zebra Zebras are several species of African equids united by their distinctive black and white stripes. Their stripes come in different patterns, unique to each individual. They are generally social animals that live in small harems to large herds. Unlike their closest relatives, horses and donkeys, zebras have never been truly domesticated. There are three species of zebras, the plain zebra, the greve zebra and the mountain zebra. The plain zebra and the mountain zebra belong to the subgenus Hippotigris, but Greve zebra is the sole species of subgenus Dolichippus. The latter resembles an ass, to which it is closely related, while the former two are more horse-like. All three belong to the genus Equus, along with other living equids. The unique stripes of zebras make them one of the animals most familiar to people. They occur in a variety of habitats, such as grasslands, savannas, woodlands, thorny scrublands, mountains, and coastal hills. However, various anthropogenic factors have had a severe impact on zebra populations, in particular hunting for skins and habitat destruction. Grevy zebra and the mountain zebra are endangered. While plain zebras are much more plentiful, one subspecies, the quagga, became extinct in the late 19th century, though there is currently a plan, called the Quagga Project, that aims to breed zebras that are phenotypically similar to the quagga in a process called breeding back. Etymology The name zebra in English dates back to C1600, from Italian zebra, perhaps from Portuguese, which in turn is said to be Congolese, as stated in the Oxford English Dictionary. The Encarta Dictionary says its ultimate origin is uncertain, but perhaps it may come from Latin equiferous meaning wild horse. From equus, horse and ferus, wild, and tamed. The word was traditionally pronounced with a long initial vowel, but over the course of the 20th century, the pronunciation with the short initial vowel became the usual one in the UK and Commonwealth. The pronunciation with a long initial vowel remains standard in the United States. Taxonomy and evolution Zebras evolved among the old world horses within the last four million years. Grevy zebras, and perhaps also mountain zebras, are, together with asses and donkeys, in a separate lineage from other zebra lineages. This means either that striped equids evolved more than once, or that common ancestors of zebras and asses were striped and only zebras retained the stripes. Extensive stripes are posited to have been of little use to equids that live in low densities and deserts like asses and some horses, or ones that live in colder climates with shaggy coats and annual shading, like some horses. Fossils of an ancient equid were discovered in the Hageman Fossil Beds National Monument in Hageman, Idaho. It was named the Hageman horse with a scientific name of Equus simplicidens. It is believed to have been similar to the Grevy zebra. The animals had stocky zebra-like bodies and short, narrow, donkey-like skulls. Grevy zebra also has a donkey-like skull. The Hageman horse is also called the American zebra or Hageman zebra. Classification There are three extant species. Collectively, two of the species have eight subspecies, seven extant. Zebra populations are diverse, and the relationships between, and the taxonomic status of, several of the subspecies are not well known. Genus, Equus. Subgenus, Hippotigris. Plain zebra, Equus quagga. Plus quagga, Equus quagga quagga, extinct, Birchell zebra, Equus quagga birchella, includes Damara zebra, Grant zebra, Equus quagga baimi, Celus zebra, Equus quagga borensis, Chapman zebra, Equus quagga capmani, Crache zebra, Equus quagga crachei. Mountain zebra, Equus zebra. Cape Mountain Zebra, Equus Zebra Zebra, Hartman's Mountain Zebra, Equus Zebra Harshmane. Subgenus, Dolichippus. Grevy Zebra, Equus Grevi, Subgenus, Hippotigris. Plain Zebra, Equus Quagga. Plus Quagga, Equus Quagga Quagga, Extinct, Birchell Zebra, Equus Quagga Birchella, Includes Damara Zebra, Grant Zebra, Equus Quagga Baimi, Celus Zebra, Equus quagga borensis, Chapman zebra, 
Equis quagga capmani, crache zebra, Equis quagga crache. Mountain zebra, Equis zebra. Cape Mountain zebra, Equis zebra zebra, Hartman's Mountain zebra, Equis zebra harshmane, Plain zebra, Equis quagga. Plus quagga, Equis quagga quagga, extinct, Birchell zebra, Equis quagga birchella, includes Damara zebra, Grant zebra, Equis quagga bohemi, Sealus zebra, Equis quagga borensis, Chapman zebra, Equis quagga capmani, Crache zebra, Equis quagga crache, plus quagga, Equis quagga quagga, extinct, Birchell zebra, Equis quagga birchella, includes Damara zebra, Grant zebra, Equis quagga bohemi, Sealus zebra, Equis quagga borensis, Chapman zebra, Equis quagga capmani, Crache zebra, Equis quagga crache, Mountain zebra, Equis zebra, Cape Mountain zebra, Equis zebra zebra, Hartman's Mountain zebra, Equis zebra harshmane, Cape Mountain zebra, Equis zebra zebra, Hartman's Mountain zebra, Equis zebra harshmane, Subchnis, Dolichippus, Grevy zebra, Equis grevi, Grevy zebra, Equis grevi, The Plain zebra, Equis quagga, formerly Equis burchelli, is the most common and has all had about six subspecies distributed across much of southern and eastern Africa. It, all particular subspecies of it, have also been known as the common zebra, the doe, Birchell zebra, actually the subspecies Equus quagga birchella, Chapman zebra, Wahlberg zebra, Sealus zebra, Grant zebra, Borham zebra and the quagga, another extinct subspecies, Equus quagga quagga. The mountain zebra, Equus zebra, of southwest Africa tends to have a sleek coat with a white belly and narrower stripes than the plain zebra. It has two subspecies and is classified as vulnerable. Grevy zebra, Equus grevi, is the largest type, with a long, narrow head, making it appear rather mule-like. It is an inhabitant of the semi-arid grasslands of Ethiopia and northern Kenya. Grevy zebra is the rarest species, and is classified as endangered. Although zebra species may have overlapping ranges, they do not interbreed. In captivity, plain zebras have been crossed with mountain zebras. The hybrid foals lacked a dewlap and resembled the plain zebra apart from their larger ears and their hindquarters pattern. Attempts to breed a grevy zebra stallion to mountain zebra mares resulted in a high rate of miscarriage. In captivity, crosses between zebras and other, non-zebra, Equines have produced several distinct hybrids, including the Zebroid, Zeodonk, Zoni, and Zors. In certain regions of Kenya, plain zebras and grevy zebra coexist, and fertile hybrids occur. Physical attributes Size and weight The common plain zebra is about 50 to 52 inches, 12.2-13 hands, 1.3 m, at the shoulder with a body ranging from 6 to 8.5 feet, 2 to 2.6 meters, long with an 18 inch, 0.5 m, tail. It can weigh up to 770 pounds, 350 kilograms, males being slightly bigger than females. Grevy zebra is considerably larger, while the mountain zebra is somewhat smaller. Stripes it was previously believed that zebras were white animals with black stripes, since some zebras have white underbellies. Embryological evidence, however, shows that the animal's background color is black and the white stripes and bellies are additions. It is likely that the stripes are caused by a combination of factors. The stripes are typically vertical on the head, neck, forequarters, and main body, with horizontal stripes at the rear and on the legs of the animal. A wide variety of hypotheses have been proposed to account for the evolution of the striking stripes of zebras. The more traditional of these, 1 and 2, below, relate to camouflage. 1. The vertical striping may help the zebra hide in grass by disrupting its outline. In addition, even at moderate distances, the striking striping merges to an apparent gray. 2. The stripes may help to confuse predators by motion dazzle, a group of zebras standing or moving close together may appear as one large mass of flickering stripes, 
making it more difficult for the lion to pick out a target. 3. The stripes may serve as visual cues and identification. Although the striping pattern is unique to each individual, it is not known whether zebras can recognize one another by their stripes. 4. Experiments by different researchers indicate that the stripes are effective in attracting fewer flies, including blood-sucking tsetse flies and tabanid horse flies. A 2012 experiment in Hungary showed that zebra-striped models were nearly minimally attractive to tabanid horse flies. These flies are attracted to linearly polarized light, and the study showed that black and white stripes disrupt the attractive pattern. Further, attractiveness increases with stripe width so the relatively narrow stripes of the three living species of zebras should be unattractive to horse flies. Gates Like horses, zebras walk, trot, canter and gallop. They are generally slower than horses, but their great stamina helps them outpace predators. When chased, a zebra will zigzag from side to side, making it more difficult for the predator. When cornered, the zebra will rear up and kick or bite its attacker. Senses Zebras have excellent eyesight. It is believed that they can see in color. Like most ungulates, the zebra has its eyes on the sides of its head, giving it a wide field of view. Zebras also have night vision, although not as advanced as that of most of their predators. Zebras have excellent hearing, and tend to have larger, rounder ears than horses. Like horses and other ungulates, zebras can turn their ears in almost any direction. In addition to eyesight and hearing, zebras have an acute sense of smell and taste. Diseases Being an equid, zebras are subject to many of the common diseases of the domestic horse. Parasites, salmonella bacterial infection of the intestine, pneumonia and pleuritis, acute heart lesions due to stress, tetanus and anthrax, in northern Kenya in 2005-2006, an outbreak of anthrax affected Grevy zebra. 53 Grevy's and 26 plain zebras died. 620 Grevy zebras were vaccinated to halt the spread. Two Grevy zebras were poisoned in 1995 by leaves of a hybrid red maple tree, Acer rubum, at the St. Louis Zoo. Horses were first reported in 1981 to be susceptible. Even small amounts of red maple leaves can be toxic to ponies. In 2000 a zebra was first reported infected with a nematode, Halicephalobus, known to infect horses and usually associated with decaying plant material. Ecology and Behavior Harems Like most members of the horse family, Zebras are highly social. Their social structure, however, depends on the species. Mountain zebras and plain zebras live in groups, known as harems, consisting of one stallion with up to six mares and their foals. Bachelor males either live alone or with groups of other bachelors until they are old enough to challenge a breeding stallion. When attacked by packs of hyenas or wild dogs a zebra group will huddle together with the foals in the middle while the stallion tries to ward them off. Unlike the other zebra species, Grevy zebras do not have permanent social bonds. A group of these zebras rarely stays together for more than a few months. The foals stay with their mothers, while adult males live alone. Like the other two zebra species, bachelor male zebras will organize in groups. Like horses, zebras sleep standing up, and only sleep when neighbors are around to warn them of predators. Communication. Zebras communicate with each other with high-pitched barks and whinnying. Grevy zebras make them like brays. A zebra's ears signify its mood. When a zebra is in a calm, tense or friendly mood, its ears stand erect. When it is frightened, its ears are pushed forward. When angry, the ears are pulled backward. When surveying an area for predators, zebras will stand in an alert posture. With ears erect, head held high, and staring. When tense they will also snort. When a predator is spotted or sensed, a zebra will bark, or bray, loudly. Food and foraging Zebras feed almost entirely on grasses, 
but may occasionally eat shrubs, herbs, twigs, leaves and bark. Their digestive systems allow them to subsist on diets of lower nutritional quality than that necessary for other herbivores. Reproduction Female zebras mature earlier than the males, and a mare may have her first foal by the age of three. Males are not able to breed until the age of five or six. Mares may give birth to one foal every 12 months. She nurses the foal for up to a year. Like horses, zebras are able to stand, walk and suckle shortly after they are born. A zebra foal is brown and white instead of black and white at birth. Plains and mountain zebra foals are protected by their mothers, as well as the head stallion and the other mares in their group. Grevy zebra foals have only their mother as a regular protector, since, as noted above, Grevy zebra groups often disband after a few months. Interaction with humans Domestication Attempts have been made to train zebras for riding, since they have better resistance than horses to African diseases. Most of these attempts failed, though, due to the zebra's more unpredictable nature and tendency to panic under stress. For this reason, zebra mules or zebroids, crosses between any species of zebra and a horse, pony, donkey or ass, are preferred over perebrid zebras. In England, the zoological collector Walter Rothschild frequently used zebras to draw a carriage. In 1907, Rosendo Ribeiro, the first doctor in Nairobi, Kenya, used a riding zebra for house calls. In the mid-19th century, Governor George Gray imported zebras to New Zealand from his previous posting in South Africa, and used them to pull his carriage on his privately owned Kauai Island. Captain Horace Hayes, in Points of the Horse, circa 1893, compared the usefulness of different zebra species. In 1891, Hayes broke a mature, intact mountain zebra stallion to ride in two days' time, and the animal was quiet enough for his wife to ride and be photographed upon. He found the Birchall zebra easy to break, and considered it ideal for domestication, as it was immune to the bite of the tsetse fly. He considered the quagga, now extinct, well suited to domestication due to being easy to train to saddle and harness. Conservation Modern man has had great impact on the zebra population. Zebras were, and still are, hunted for their skins, and for meat. They also compete with livestock for forage, and are sometimes culled. The Cape Mountain zebra was hunted to near extinction, with less than 100 individuals by the 1930s. The population has since increased to about 700 due to conservation efforts. Both mountain zebra subspecies are currently protected in national parks, but are still endangered. The Grevy zebra is also endangered. Hunting and competition from livestock have greatly decreased their population. Because of the population's small size, environmental hazards, such as drought, are capable of affecting the entire species. Plain zebras are much more numerous and have a healthy population. Nevertheless, they too have been reduced by hunting and loss of habitat to farming. One subspecies, the quagga, is now extinct. Cultural depictions Zebras have been the subject of African folktales which tell how they got their stripes. According to a sand folktale of Namibia, the zebra was once all white, but acquired its black stripes after a fight with a baboon over a waterhole. After kicking the baboon so hard, the zebra lost his balance and tripped over a fire, and the fire sticks left scorch marks all over his white coat. In the film Fantasia, two centaurs are depicted being half human and half zebra, instead of the typical half human and half horse. Zebra are a popular subject in art. The fourth Mughal Emperor Jahangir, R1605-24, commissioned a painting of the zebra, which was completed by Ustad Mansa. Zebra stripes are also a popular style for furniture, carpets and fashion. When depicted in movies and cartoons, zebras are most often miscellaneous characters, but have had some starring roles, notably in Madagascar, Racing Stripes and Cumber. One of the recurring characters in My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic is a zebra named Zekara. 
Zebras also serve as mascots and symbols for products in corporations, notably Zebra Technologies and Fruit Stripe Gum as well as Investec. Zebras are featured on the coat of arms of Botswana. Biofuel Recent research has shown that TU-103, a strain of Clostridium bacteria found in zebra feces, can convert nearly any form of cellulose into butanol fuel.